hello children how are you all you all are fine okay so welcome back today in this video we are going to learn our another one new lesson okay before going to new lesson i want to ask you some questions as soon as you get up from the bed what will do yes okay then some of you will go for brushing and then you will take bath and you will drink milk and you will eat some uh, breakfast and then then you will get ready for the school then you will go to school again come back you will eat and drink some uh, eat some snacks and drink again the milk and you will do your homework and you will go for playing and again coming back you will eat the food dinner you will take and then you are going to sleep again next day morning uh, you will perform the same routine and even when you are there in the school what you will do there also you are going to do many things or many activities like you will sit on the bench and you will see look at the teacher and you will listen the lesson and even you are going to write read singing dancing and you are playing in the playground isn't it you are going moving in the line so these all many things we will do one day in a one day then have you ever thought how it is possible to do these all the activities yes with the help of our body then in today's video we will learn the lesson my body okay then my body means this from the head to our feet then i will start from the head part okay what are the parts in my body head is there neck is there chest hands stomach legs it is all are the main parts then what are located in my head hair is there and then in the face part i have many parts again forehead eyebrows eyes nose ears mouth lips tongue teeth chin cheek ears isn't it these all parts are there in my head part then are they useful yes of course they are useful see here if i you don't have eyes you are unable to see my video now then you are unable to see any of the things or any of the pictures or any of the images it's not at all possible to see the things or only with the help of eyes we are going to see the things and the images then if you don't have ears what is the use of ear then if we don't have ears it is not at all possible to listen the sound you all are listening my sound now isn't it but if the ears are not there it is not at all possible to listen the sound then if the nose is not there with the help of nose you can uh, smell good and bad isn't it and even with the help of nose we can take air inside and we can live out the inside isn't it that is called as breathing we are going for breathing with the help of nose if there is no nose we are unable to breathe also and you are we are unable to just smell also isn't it then what is the use of this mouth see i am talking now you all are listening isn't it even if you want to say you are also going to talk then how we are talking only with this help of this mouth and the tongue isn't it this tongue is going to taste the foods tasting of this food isn't it then with the help of this mouth we are going to eat the food isn't it then see here how many useful are there with the help of mouth we will eat the food we are going to talk and this with the help of this tongue we are going to taste the food these all things are done by the different parts of my face then if there is no neck how my head is going to sit on my body isn't it then neck is going to give a great support to the head to hold the head like this then in chest we have heart and we have lungs okay if there is no heart it is not possible for us to live the life we are going to die okay and then the next parts are hands next parts are hands these hands are very much useful if there is no hand we are unable to do any work isn't it only with the help of hands we are going to do many lot many of works you are eating you are drinking you are writing you are holding the books you are reading you are carrying the bag you want to lift some uh, uh, things to one place to another place 
Send it how it is possible only with the help of hands. Now you got what are the uses of hands. Then stomach. After eating, stomach uh, food will go to the stomach, and the stomach is uh, converting our food into the energy. Then next part is legs. In the legs again we have thigh, foot, elbow, knee, different different parts you already have learned in your UKG class, isn't it? Then there is no legs, it is not at all possible for us to walk from one place to another place, isn't it? And if there is no leg, then it is not at all possible to stand like me. How we are standing, how we are running, how we are uh, sitting, how our body uh, is going to Stand like straight that is only with the help of our legs again legs are attached to the feet and feet have again five and five fingers there are five fingers for leg feet and five plus five will become ten and then and again we have ten fingers for the hand and total we have twenty fingers then what is the use of fingers fingers can help to hold Fingers can help to eat. Fingers can help to read. And fingers can help to do lot many works. Isn't it? Fingers are going to help for doing the works, carrying the things, writing, holding, eating, drinking. Whenever we are doing these all activities, these fingers are going to help us. See now, in this video you have learned what are the lot many uses of our body parts. That it each and every part we have learned. Then, so by this we will end this video. Before ending, I want to give you some homework. For example, uses of this following you have to write. Okay, take the help of your parents or sister or brothers. You can write answer for these questions. Like uses of eyes. Eyes to see. You, you should write one I will show for you. Eyes to see. Nose to smell. See, to I have uh, uh, told you examples. So like this, you have to write these all uh, uh, questions. These all questions. Okay. I hope you will do this homework without fail. You have to do homework regularly. Okay. In the next video, we will go for an another next interesting lesson. Okay. Bye bye.